Yo, what is going on guys? It's Bruin Steel here and welcome back to another video and I hope you guys are enjoying yourself on this Saturday, beautiful Saturday morning and I am back with another video and as you can see from the title, yes, the legend himself, Roger Federer has retired from tennis at the age of 41 and those who don't know, Yes, I am a huge tennis fan. I played tennis throughout my years, but I don't really talk about tennis during it on my channel. So I, I don't really do it though. I don't. And the reason why is because people are like, oh, what the hell? Why do people even watch tennis? You know, you know, you think that the NFL is more popular than tennis. You think the NHL is more popular than tennis. You think Major League Baseball is popular than tennis. You think the NBA is popular. And I don't really talk about tennis, um, I don't know why, but, you know, I, I'm just, like, keeping track of the Grand Slams, you know, I pay attention to the Australian Open, I pay attention to Wimbledon, I pay attention to the French Open and US Open, who, what, the tournament just ended a couple weeks ago, but today I am talking about the legend himself, Roger Federer, he's a tennis player that I looked up growing up, and, you know, Roger Federer is from Switzerland, he and... All the people can agree with me saying that, you know, people have considered him the all-time great. He's the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. And he is. He has 20 Grand Slam titles and the end of the era. Roger Federer has retired at the age of 41. Um, he said he's going to be playing more, but not Grand Slam. The biggest Grand Slams he's probably not going to play. Uh, his last ATP World Tour, um... Tournament will be the Labor Cup, which they have teams to face against each other. And he will be with Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray, and no uh, Rafael Nadal, who has been his all-time rivals for, throughout the years. Um, those are the, his rivals. Um, you know, everyone's sending love to him. And, you know, the, the thing with Roger is that he's been dealing with knee injury, surgery, and then that's when your body tells you that your body can't handle the pressure and it's time to retire. 41 is pretty old and I've been talking about this, well, on my spare time to my friends who do watch tennis. Roger Federer has been getting old, he needs to retire. Um, and I knew, and they considered that the big four, the big three, big three in the consistence of Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic, that's the big three right there, and now that Federer is gone, who knows, Djokovic and Nadal are now the big two. Um, so far, we have gotten new U.S. Open champions throughout the years. Um, and the thing about Roger is that he, he's just an unbelievable um, tennis player. You know, I looked up to him. I have watched every single of his match um, that I have watched. Um, he has suffered injuries throughout his career. And the, 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 the amazing part about this player is that he has never forfeit a match in his career. So he never forfeit at all. He just finished it through. Australian Open 2020, he had a semi-final match against Novak Djokovic. He was dealing with an injury. It, it, it looked like an injury. Everyone didn't know what the extent to his injury was, and he just he fought through, and he has earned the respect from many, including Novak Djokovic in his press conference. Um, that It's just an unbelievable fact that this guy never um, forfeited a match in his career. Um, obviously, he got beat for the first time in straight sets at Wimbledon. Um, that was his last Grand Slam um, run, and he had had surgery. He was out for a couple months, and then he just announced his retirement. Um, obviously, Federer is the greatest of all time. He's the greatest player to ever play the game. Um, you will be missed. Roger Federer will be missed. Um, like I said, I grew up watching this dude. Um, due to the fact that I'm a tennis player myself and I do watch tennis, um, I just don't really pay attention to it on my channel. I don't really do videos about tennis. Let's just do that. Um, you know, obviously I want to talk about Roger, but some of the other, Serena Williams, all-time great player on the woman's side, just announced her retirement a couple weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. Serena Williams, by side her sister, Venus Williams, Serena Williams have announced her retirement from tennis, um, she didn't want to say it in the speech, she did a little bitter speech poem, um, you know, look, Serena Williams was, um, is by far the greatest of all time, they say that Serena and Roger are both the greatest tennis players of all time, and Serena, it, it, it just, 
she just pulled a Roger. She has, well, how many Grand Slams? I don't have no idea. But, you know, at the end of the era, you know, half off to Roger Federer. Um, I don't want to make this video too quick, but what a career. What a tennis player. And I hope to see him play in the Labor Cup. The Labor Cup is going to be his last um, tournament before he retires. He's probably going to do small tournaments after that. But he, in his speech, he says clearly um, that he's done with tennis with all the Grand Slams. But he will play in the future, maybe small tournaments or something like that. But anyways, that is what I have for you guys today. I just want to share you guys this moment. Um, Roger Federer, 20 Grand Slam titles, man. Wow. Alright, see you guys later.